So you might have heard that blue light can be damaging to your sleep, uh, to lucid dreaming, your health, your energy, and all kinds of things. Well, I'm gonna keep it very simple in this video and explain exactly how it works. And I've also got a whole bunch of devices which I will explain in a second that can help you to eliminate the effects, the bad effects of blue light in your eyes and on your sleep. So firstly, the way that circadian rhythm works is that the sun comes up in the morning, triggers your body to release serotonin, and you wake up. When you get that blue light exposure from the sunlight, you stop producing melatonin, meaning that you have energy and you don't feel tired during the day. When the sun goes down in the evening, you stop producing or you slow down producing serotonin and you start producing melatonin, which is the hormone that makes you feel tired. Okay, this is how it's supposed to work and this is how it's been working for, you know, a long time. And then what happened is when electricity was discovered and people realized they could actually stay up past when the sun goes down by looking at their screens, turning on their light bulbs, looking at phone screens, watching movies. That's when the problems started to happen and that's when people's sleep quality started to decline because we're meant to get a, a boost of melatonin in the evening once the sun goes down. But when we look at things like phone screens, you know, up until 11 at night, the phone screen has blue light. So to your brain, it's like the sun is still up, okay? And this happens when you look at laptops, when you watch movies and so on. It makes your sleep quality worse. You feel uh, you know, more energetic and it's harder to fall asleep during the night. And even if you do fall asleep, and even if you think, ah, oh, it's fine, you know, I can still fall asleep, your sleep quality, okay? Unless you're, hopefully you're tracking it with something like an aura ring, but your sleep quality won't be as good uh, and you'll have more disturbances during the night, even if you're not aware of them. And what that'll mean over a long period of time is that your immune system will be weaker, you'll recover slower, you know, your health won't be as good. Even if you don't think it's bad, and even if you don't think there's a problem, there is a problem, okay? So basically what you wanna do is after the sun goes down, you don't wanna have any blue light sources in your house. The worst ones are things like LED TVs, uh, laptops, and phone screens. Bulbs, yes, I mean, obviously you don't wanna have a huge load of bulbs on in the evening unless you can absolutely help it, but there are some ways, like I said, I'll explain in a second, which you can uh, kind of reverse the dangers and damage uh, that the blue light does. So firstly, we'll start at the very top. There are some pieces of software. Firstly, on your things like an iPhone, turn on night mode and set it to be on a schedule so that after the sun goes down, you don't have as much light, you know, the brightness turns down and it's more warm color. You want, you want all of the light sources in the evening to be warm, as close to like a natural fire or a flame as you can possibly get. And that's gonna be the most natural sleep enhancing thing you can do. Secondly, you wanna do things like block, reduce, avoid, or eliminate blue light from as many different devices as, as you can. And there's a few ways of doing that. So I'll start with the most obvious one, and that is blue light blocking glasses. So if I just get the camera to focus on these, these might need a bit of a clean actually. Okay, so as you can see, hopefully if you can, if you can see this, apart from the fact that these need a clean, you can actually see there's a slight blue tint to the lens. Now these glasses are not prescription. There's no lens on them. They don't magnify anything my eyes are actually fine, I don't need glasses, but what these do is the lens will block or filter out blue light. However, they're not perfect, and the reason for that is that when you wear them, uh, let me just put them on now, so when you wear them, uh, if I were to look down, then obviously blue light can still come from the bulb in the lounge uh, over the top of the glasses. If I look up, then blue light from my phone screen can still go up into my eyes, so they don't block out 100% of uh, blue light unfortunately, but they are a very good start and they'll probably block somewhere between 70 and 80% of the blue light from entering your eyes, even if you have things like bulbs on, laptops on, you're watching movies after dark. However, there are some other things you can do, and these aren't all devices, by the way. What you can do is to go into your TV screen settings and turn the brightness down. If you can, uh, not only do you wanna turn the brightness down, but you also want to turn down uh, the color so the, so the color, basically, you want it to be on warm setting. And there is a setting on most smart TVs, you can set it to warm, and this will make it slightly more orange looking, and that's gonna reduce even more blue light from your eyes. On a laptop, what you wanna do is you wanna install a piece of software called fl.ux flux. Uh, you can just type in get flux, or there'll be a link in the description. Uh, if you wanna spend an extra, I think it's like $10 or something, $20, uh, you can get a more advanced piece of, of software like that, which is the one I use, which is Iris. And uh, that allows you to not only block out blue light, but it also allows you to stop the flickering that will damage your retinas and macular health over a long period of time. So that's worth getting as well. I mean, $15, I think it is. And you get a really good piece of software. Uh, there'll be links to all of this in the description, by the way. And then what you want to do, because phones are, we're always on our phones, right? So what you want to do is, I'm just going to try and get the camera to focus properly on this. There we go. So hopefully you can see that my screen, my phone screen, 
has a slight blue tint. And that's because the screen protector I'm using, I, I hope you can see that, the screen protector that I'm using is actually a blue light blocking screen. And this is very cheap. And I, I'll show you the one I got. I'm not affiliated with these at all. I'll put a link to them in the description, but I got this one. Uh, and there's, there's several on Amazon that you can choose from. This is called OcuShield. And as you can see, it's an anti-blue light screen protector and it filters, it's tempered glass. So it's gonna st it still protects your phone if you drop it or you know from scratches and stuff like that. But it filters out the blue light even more. So not only do I have night mode on the phone, but I have a screen protector on the phone, uh, which blocks out more blue light. And then in the evenings when the sun goes down, I put these on. To be honest, you can be as detailed as you want with this. Those are what I would say is the bare minimum of what you should be doing to protect your eyes and enhance your sleep, especially when, I mean, all of this stuff, the software, the blue light blocking glasses, the screen protector for my phone, it was probably like 30 bucks, 40 bucks, right? Which is not even the price of a bottle of sleeping supplements or a trip out to your favorite restaurant. So it's, in my opinion, it's easily worth $40 to improve your sleep forever. Now, there's one more thing I would suggest you do. And that is to, because remember, like I said, like blue light is bad uh, in the evenings when the sun has gone down. It's even worse once you've actually gone to sleep. And so let me just paint a picture for you, okay? And this is literally based on experience. This happened to me many times <laughs> until I realized I needed this, okay? So you're laying there, you've just fallen asleep, or you know maybe you've been sleeping a couple of hours, and suddenly some bright spark decides that they need to, they're driving now. They're gonna get in their car at 3 a.m. and drive. And so of course what happens, they open their car door, they, they turn on the ignition and the headlights come on and illuminate your entire room, uh, even just for a few seconds as they drive away. But it's enough to wake you up, right? And it's certainly enough for the blue light to enter your eyes and you know stop the production of melatonin, which can make it hard to fall asleep. Okay, worst case, best case scenario, it interferes with your sleep at least a little bit, best case scenario. So how can you avoid that? Well, I think you know where I'm going with this. You need a sleep mask. Uh, and so this is the sleep mask I use. I'm gonna show you a close up here. Just wait for the camera to focus, there we go. Okay, so this is the sleep mask I use and this is from a company called Manta Sleep. And the reason that I chose the, this one over, I mean, there's thousands of sleep masks, is that this one has these little indented foam sockets here. So when you put it on and when you actually, especially if you're a side sleeper like I am, which you should be for your posterior and uh, your alignment of your spine, it, it actually, the sockets you know, kind of mold around your eye sockets so that your eyes are not touched by anything. Um, depending on the brand of sleep mask you get, some of the cheaper ones, uh, they tend to kind of, when you lay on your side, they'll press into your eyeball and it can give you a headache and it's certainly not good for your eyes. Uh, however, this one, very comfortable. Uh, I'll just give you a little demo of this one. And uh, one of the, the best things about this one is that I literally can't see anything right now. I mean, some of the cheaper sleep masks, what happens is that um, because they don't mold around the eyes like these kind of sockets do, when you look up or down, you'll notice that the light comes in through under your nose or through your eyebrows, okay? With these things, I don't see anything. Literally, you could be ha shining like a, a car headlight directly into my eyes. I would not see any light. They block out almost, I mean, I would say they block out 100% of light. And the best thing about these ones is that you can actually remove these kind of cups and position them uh, at exactly the right spaces. So you can decide exactly where it's gonna be most comfortable for you, stick it on. And then obviously the back has uh, an elastic strap, which is also Velcro. So this is the company Manta Sleep, and uh, I will try and put links to all of this in the description. But to be honest, any sleep mask will be better than none. But you've got to ask yourself, like, you want it to be comfortable and you want it to be one that actually blocks out all of the light. So that's why I consider these the best. So yeah, that's basically what I would recommend that you do. This has been a very long video so far, but blue light is important, okay? You need to be blocking blue light from your eyes definitely once the sun has gone down. And I would actually go one step further and say, if you're going through like an airport or something, or you know, somewhere, uh, if you live in a busy city and there's lots of artificial lights, you don't wanna, that LED light pollution in, in your eyes, over the long term, it's not gonna be good. And there's a lot of research coming out um, which suggests that the effect of LED lights on your retinas is not good. Uh, and on your long-term eye health, you don't wanna be having this really harsh light going into your eyes. Our eyes are not designed to deal with that long-term. Anyway. So yeah, that's why when you hear me going on about blue light exposure and how it can damage your sleep, that's why. And that's how you protect yourself from the blue light. Um, this isn't just crazy talk, there's a lot of research around this. Uh, it's very much agreed upon 
scientifically and by various health experts and biohackers and sleep doctors and all kinds of people like that. Um, but at the very least, try it out. I mean, like I said, $40 for all of this stuff. Uh, if I had to pick one of these things, I would say get yourself a nice pair of blue light blocking glasses. Um, I don't even know what brand these are. I honestly can't remember. Um, it doesn't even say which brand they are, but I'll put a link to an Amazon search page for the right type of blue light blocking glasses that you want to get uh, in the description. And yeah, leave a comment letting me know what you think and I'll see you next time.